Back, ladies and gentlemen, here it's the last day of the legend stage. All best of threes all day. We've got Fnatic and Hellraisers, and a crazy game to begin with in every sense of the word. I mean, I might need a little bit of counseling after watching that first map on Mirage, but they took it in overtime, Fnatic, in a really in impressive and slightly ridiculous comeback. Yeah, true Fnatic fashion. They looked down and out, and you can see it even there and that. There was so much frustration showing on a lot of Fnatic and some lost clutch rounds and just the scoreline. Five to fourteen is what they came back from. And these are the faces of the victors. As Crims is just unbelievable. Crims made so many impact plays. I mean, but obviously everyone from the Fnatic side has to contribute on a certain degree to complete that. But Crims for me was a massive standout. Moving on to Dust2 though. I mean, that map is over and it's going to really test things. The Dust kind of talked about a little bit uh, during that, that segment between maps. You can't be a star player if you're not going to deliver when you need it most. And Issa and Waksik had a great first half. Pretty quiet in the second half. I just love the team reactions in in all of this madness. The highlight reel is just so long suddenly, and I mean, they must have thought for so long. You could see them, you know, they think they've got it, but suddenly, right at the end, it just slips away, and and it's just an unbelievable victory for Fnatic at the end. If that doesn't get them fired up, I don't know what will. What a struggle. I think the thing you have, the thing you have to worry about with Fnatic at the moment is we saw all that frustration from so many different players. We saw it from Crims, from JW, and and Draken. Um, yeah. And they had that tweet yesterday that, you know, it's hard to play in a negative environment. Whatever is causing that frustration, yeah, the losing rounds is going to be tough, but I think it felt like more communication or more like just an attitude in the team. And, and that first half was really, really rough on them. Yeah, it was. And it was, I mean, we saw some, I don't know how to put it, we saw some really ugly Counter Strike that was coming out there. Some of it was. Strange. Ugly Counter Strike is good Counter Strike, though. It can be. Like, <laughs> it's, sometimes. It's a lot of fun. Sometimes it can be a lot of fun, right? <laughs> but. Um, for Hellraisers, I mean, on the other side of the coin, right, they must feel like we just had that and we just gave it away. And they, does that mean we gave away our major run? Like, is that what this means? Hopefully they don't think about that and they can just, you know, get rid of that thought. But Yeah, um, I mean, that had to have been what that break between maps was for them is just like, forget about forget about what just happened. Forget about everything that occurred there. We need to move on. We need to move on to Dust2. This is our pick. Yes, we could have closed this out, but you are still still have a chance, and you can't be thinking about that one. But certainly, if they get eliminated, they're going to be sitting there saying, 14 to 5. How do we let that slip away? And probably, also, when it gets into this map, no lead is safe. <laughs> like, how do we yeah. put this team away? How do we get rid of Fnatic? It's an age-old question. Yeah, I was going to say, a lot of teams have probably asked themselves that. This is a, I mean, this is a very different map, obviously, from Mirage. The kind of plays that we saw out of Iza, maybe especially, could be incredibly useful on a map like Dust 2. So, Woxic as well is yeah. clearly the dominant opera in this in this series. Drake can miss some tougher, some easier shots in that first map, but yeah, he's gonna need to start just like looking into the side of the wall when he's approaching, so every <laughs> shot is a flick, you know. Just attack every angle at a 45 degrees. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just try and do that. So, here comes Dust2 now, the pistol round to begin with, and a bit of a challenge. Bondic taking a little bit of a fight there, and Drake in, in the middle with the USP, but they're all coming back for him. That smoke is going to obscure the fact that they're up there, but he might hear it anyway, and if they run towards Catwalk, seems like they do, it's going to be a bit of a gunfight. Drake and JW can actually smoke it off, so now they have to slow down maybe a little bit. That's it. Cool switch in the rotation. Draken coming up CT spawn. JW was at that car position, and they swap, and now back to the B bomb. So we go, but there's two players in here, Anders. There are two players, and with Draken not that far behind either. Smoke is going to be a big indication. He wants to play the edge of it. And they're all coming around. Four people in front. One USP instant headshot. Could not follow it up. And now they're going to be the crunch on the bomb site. JW going to get one big kill, but still coming through the tunnels is Angel. And he's definitely a key player here. Crims can't see a thing and somehow stays alive for a very long time. Getting the kill as well. And there's Exist with the one. So not bad at all. Fnatic winning the pistol round. JW picking up that double kill. Definitely big news. So many sneaky kills that a Fnatic finds. Just yeah. ratty, dirty kills. Well, like first the opening, Draken around the edge of the smoke. JW on the left side of the smoke finds a clear vision. Krim somehow getting one like half blind. Exist just hiding in the cubby as well. And Hellraiser is just losing too many players on the progress. Investment for them, Deagles. No armor. Maybe that is the best description of what Fnatic are doing. They are playing right down the strike. It's amazing, isn't it? Yeah, it's but just amazing. Splinter was a rat too, and he's a badass. 
nice yeah. shot with the M4. You know, Oral Moses. And listen, if it works, if it gets you to the playoffs, then Who it cares? doesn't yeah. matter. They can still build into this tournament. I mean, get rid of that team frustration, whatever it is. Remind yourselves that you've got some real firepower on this team. And show the world what it's all about. Dead Fox creeping close. JW right at the edge, a little bit worried. The rest of the team for Hellraisers are on the other side of the map, though. So, wouldn't have been some sort of collapse on the bomb side anyway. Well, Draken's going to be under some pressure. And how much does he want to commit to this? He's got the Famas. And remember, they have no armor, but that is a, an angle the Deagles can be very deadly. So, yeah, they fall away. He drops a smoke just to continue to lay force him to the other side of the map. And this is a very mobile defense in these first two rounds. They're putting a lot of emphasis on mid, but that rotator, Flusha, position he's in has been very active. And there is a nice peak. Bait and switch. JW, that's sketchy. Inside the smoke, he's going to spray as it clears. He needs to drop him. That's too deep. They're going to go past that. He's ready for it. Oh, a nice double kill for him. He does eventually go down, but Crims handles it well. Two to nothing for Fnatic. Yeah, well enough played. You're right. That Molotov was a little bit further back than it maybe needed to be, but, um, you know. Maybe was. that's what he wanted. He wanted to funnel him forward. Make he sure they, metal, yeah. they didn't escape. It could be. So no bomb plans yet, and Hillraisers are going to have to save for one more round before they can really start to pick it up, including that AWP on uh, Warksick that we we're all looking forward to. That'll be a fun battle on, on Dust2. We all know the Ops can decide so much, even if it's not opening picks, even if it's just cutting off rotations, it can be very effective, which will be interesting to see Fnatic when they switch over to the T side, because on Mirage, they actually had Draken with the AWP and a lot of Lurk positions in towards mid while they attacked the B bomb site. So... You can do the similar thing here on Dust2. Faking a mid to B split, but Flusha has all the intel. Draken is going to get past him a little bit. Great shot with the Deagle. Exists coming over with the M4. Gets dropped as well, and now things can get pretty sketchy. They can. They're almost running Deagle shots. Well done for Hellraiser's putting a lot of pressure on Fnatic in this round. And Iza getting a little bit caught out there, overstepping the line just slightly. But they picked up the M4 and the Famas here. See what they can do that's left. Bondik with the Famas, and he's the one. There's a bit of a smoke to help him out, but they might come right through it anyway. You see Flusher playing at the edge of it, and now it's trouble for Bondik. He's going to be down all on dead box and long range. It's just very hard to fight three people like that. He's going to end up going down, so scary, really scary for a minute. Yeah, pretty close, but not, not a whole lot of damage dealt is in, in reality because they've salvaged the M4 that was dropped at long. They have the Famas as well, so maybe, drop, maybe lose one rifle. The other one is just a UMP. Great shots with these Deagles, though, to get into the bomb site. Even with Fnatic seemingly in a great position for that defense, able to crack it open and get a plant. That helps so much. That gives him so much extra utility. That gives Woxic extra money after buying the AWP. He'll be able to have nades as well. So here we go. First gun round for Hellraisers, and Fnatic being very slow to cross. Very slow to cross. And Oh, they want to go for mid-pressure. They want to go for the peak. And look at Woxic. He knows. He's seen all of it before, but not quite. Draken does find him. Nice creative plan for Fnatic. This is something that's very hard to do on CT side dust, too, is actually being creative, because there aren't that many positions, there aren't that many parts of the map that you can really take without giving too much away. Catwalk is maybe one, that longhouse is another one. That's more or less it, because nobody's going to take up a dark in, on, on this. It's just not really possible for the CTs. You can push in there later on, like a double push or something, but you can't occupy it forever. It's not like a, a portion of the map that you're going to be holding permanently. So that's really cool. Well done. Oh, look at them just kind of walking out middle a little bit. He said took a glimpse. Does look like they eventually want to go up catwalk. Flush is here, close up, waiting for a timing. Draken far back with the AWP. There's the flash, there's the peak, nothing here. And without another flashbang on Draken, Flush doesn't want to go for that play again. They could maybe try to speed up behind that, but they're going to be smoking it off. It does kind of keep Flush occupied on that side. Angel here to make some noise in the middle while the rest are making their way up catwalk. Draken, though, is going to be a challenge to get rid of, and Angel. Taking that fight, now he's low on health and he's shot at the back, he somehow picks up Draken, that's actually huge! He was by the car waiting, you see the blood on the wall there. Three on four, as they're trying to make their way in for that bomb plant, Dead Fox almost down, very close. Flusher gonna just escape that and go for the fight against the bomb planter instead. And Isa survives, gonna be trying to put the bomb down, ten seconds left here, no stopping him now. 
And it's a three on three here in the after plant. JW hiding in Dead Fox. He survived the first time around. Surely he's not going to make it through the next time. It instantly goes down. Trouble for Von Dick. He gets the headshot anyway. I can't even believe it. And now Isa out on the ramp and he's going to win the fight. Barely. Great save there. Bondic and Isa coming out big in this round. And Hellraisers pick it up. Yeah, they come up big at the end, but it's that kill from Angel and CT spawn. The one he gets, yeah. I don't know how he finds that kill, but that's the one that's needed to open up the bomb site in that round. Fnatic, those are the plays that we expect out of the Fnatic guys to make individually, and each one is just so close to panning out for him. I want to say, by the way, that Angel, was he also being shot from the B-bomb site? I am not entirely sure. We didn't get to see it. I know Flusher was obviously fighting with him, not dedicated yeah. to I wonder if, if, I he got, if he got a free kill on Draken or if Draken was aware of his position. I think at least he was being, I think he was being shot by Flusher and the B bombs and, and then he gets the kill on Drake in really far away. That's, that's pretty nuts. Look at the result as well. Two CZs, JW and Exist on the pistols. One M4 on Flusher, Crimson Drake and to have the double up set up. This is going to be so tough and it really weakens their mid to B defense. Issa has a great position at a minute and like 38 seconds. He's already ready to go and that's going to be so tough for Crimson. He's got to be careful. Now he peeks in towards middle. Yeah, he's trying to be everywhere with his AWP, but I mean, one one missed timing, and it's all going to be horribly... Oh, God, he's going to get picked off. Oh, no. you're right. Gets a bit of a flick. He says, just waiting right now. Going to go for a bit of a re-peek. Flushes on the other side. They just don't even think about the idea they could be here. You could see it in the way that they played. They're not aware that someone might be that close. I cannot believe that Issa didn't peek after that op shot. What patience, what discipline. Because he doesn't, he doesn't want to be the main point of the attack. That's the thing. This is going to be an attack on the A-bomb site, quite obviously. Exist is going to have a big job to do, because Draken, if Exist goes down, Draken's in so much trouble. Flusher rotating back as well. There's the first kill. Can't follow it up on the second. Draken, though, is going to give up the A-bomb site out towards long. That's a good decision. He can't get the follow-up pick, though. That would have been great. Issa is still waiting. He wants to cut off rotation. Crimps has no idea. That's the opt down. JW, though, one-on-one -on -one for him. And Issa has the perfect angle, and JW slow peeks it. That's the round. The entire round, the entire setup for Issa was that play right there. Now Draken in the pit, they want to take this off away and they will walk sick with the kill. But Issa, that's a lot of patience in the middle. Very, very hard to not react. A lot of sound cues, a lot of people peeking. Yeah. Was, you know, you really, really want to do that. That's all the rifles gone, all the money away from the Fnatic team. Well done, Hellraisers. Well crafted round. And just USPs for the Fnatic side. So, again, Hellraiser starting off well on their T side, much like I remember Mirage was an entirely offensive affair. Here we go, fast pace, two players here. Spam comes in, that Molotov's supposed to force players out of that cubby to the right. And the Flames do a lot of damage, but it's a free B-bomb site, so it's going to be a third round for Hellraiser. There's no chance of Fnatic getting back into this. Definitely not, just with USPs, so... Find the sole player. Angel does get tapped in the face, but he's going to fall back. Stealing a rifle right now, probably the absolute best case scenario. Kind of a, kind of a dream at the, at the moment. Yeah, we all like dreams, though, Anders. We all have our hopes and dreams. Crims is, his dream is taken away. They even spot out JW as well, so he's forced back. This is really well managed from Hellraiser so far. Even spotting out one towards top mid. Ooh, there is Flusher behind him. That is where Bonic is going. Bonic's going to get around the corner for that dink. I think that was from behind. And yeah. He just ignored it. He still has no idea. Silencer really doing its job. Flusher can't possibly know that. Right at the end. Can he find something? Couldn't pick a target. Too many to choose from. All tied up. Does Fnatic buy here? Everyone's sitting around 4,400, 4,500. That means no AWP. And do they want to go for it? Yes. Apparently so. I mean, that comeback on the first map, maybe they, they, they sort of, they could be persuaded. I think they could persuade themselves that listen, it'll work out. <laughs> Just, it'll be fine. Whatever even, it is. Even if we get down, it doesn't really matter. Oh, Ooh, good great flick. Tag. Yeah. Oh, sick. It's one of the strange features of Dust Two that you could see and even shoot at each other in the first five seconds of the round. Definitely could be causing a lot of trouble for the CT side. I don't see many CTs challenging anymore. I think they used to be like a, a, a feature of the map a lot. You remember when 
say, Smiths was opening sometimes yeah. on this map? They, they do that flash over and, and sort of go for the peak, right? It's it's not that it's not that Alpers. I think Alpers generally just has the nature of that role. If you're an Alper, you always feel like you're going to be able to win that battle against the opposing Alper from the CT side. It's just not worth the risk in the context of the round overall. Had a fair bit of utility in the beginning of this round, Fnatic, but it's just a minute on the clock and they have used almost all of it. JW back here with low health, a very common spot for grenades. He has a smoke with some Molotov. Oh my god, they line up for him. That's a lot of damage. One more hit could maybe do it. He's going to put out the uh, fire and behind him and Crims will take down one kill there, but JW is now alone on the bomb side, and that's a lot of trouble. He's inside the smoke, just hiding. Flusher wanted to come and help him out. Draken will take down Angel. They still know he's back here somewhere, but they're just going to wait for the rest of the team to show up. And this is so tense. Exist getting one, the follow-up as well. And Woxic walking right in. Out of bullets, though. And now the pistol instead. Woxic re-peeking it. One more hit would have done it. But he also got tagged, and now this is another really crazy round. I can't believe this game. What is up with these two teams? I'm afraid for what Exist is doing, rotating away. You're going to lose track of where Woxic is playing. And it's a very... There's a lot of distance between Exist and Woxic now. A great chance for him to be able to recover into this one, even with the low HP. Yeah, Woxic is so sure that he's out there. He hasn't thought about it yet. Now looking up into the window, Exist... He needs to make a move right about now. He doesn't have a kit, so can't spend all the time in the world. He just gets behind the box, and now he sees it coming. What's it going to be able to get the perfect timing there? My god, that was close. He actually walked past the kit in the middle as well, but I guess he had his mind focused uh, on somewhere things, else. Yeah, absolutely. 3-4, yeah. though, and a very tense round. I, I can't believe that JW stayed alive for that long. It's 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 tough to... How are you going to clear him out? You either spray at the smoke or whatever it might be, and you kind of ignore the rest. Hellraisers choose to just ignore JW and say, well, just someone watch the smoke. And, like, if he jumps through it, it's an easy kill. It's it's amazing that JW, even towards the end, you can see, he just holds down the trigger, and he's just a, a distraction for Exist to be able to get that double kill as they kind of hunt him down, and, oh, Angel's lucky to be alive. They yeah. turn that corner, he got stopped right by the grenade. That is a... Uh, that is a Really, really rough 1v1 to be losing, and we saw that in Mirage as well. Fnatic losing all those clutch situations in the first half, even to start the second half, and somehow just turned it around at the end there, but tough way to start things out. Yeah, now they have the luxury of winning the pistol round at least, so that's there's, a good point, yeah. there's something that's working, but Hellraisers have won four in a row and are looking to continue into a fifth here, which is, in terms of patching up that loss from the first map, must be a good feeling to know that you could you could start off well enough on this one. Winning some clutches, having an easier time of it. It's just kind of hard to hit people when they're jumping, but he got the job done in the end. They'll recover the AWP, and now it's just Crims in the middle, and yeah, timing is everything. Iza, again, he's, he's all over the map. He's being very, very active. 14 yeah. and 4 for him. He's Seems like he's angry at losing that first one, of letting it slip away. He came into this one with a hot hand. Doing a very good job on the passive, more lurk, lurking positions. Up two rounds, Hellraisers. Double op set up on the T side as well. Double op set up on the CT side. Four ops in play. It is Dust2 Classic, isn't it? It's a party. The best thing is at the end, if they have enough money on the T side and they get the auto snipers out, Moses. That's what we all love. That's all a good time. You know, the last round of the half, spam the doors, see what you can get. Exactly. Here goes for the pick. Molotov, how long does he want to stand it? And there it is. He's rewarded. Just long enough. Yeah, Drekken didn't think he would be there at all. Fair play. He did take a lot of damage. That's a pretty risky thing to do. One HE grenade, he would have been gone. And JW. Forced off the angle with a flashbang, re-peaking it. Definitely dangerous. Let's see. Slowly creeping in. There was a guy holding close earlier, but they've all fallen back now. Flusher going to be back from the grenade. It's very well read indeed. Taking down Angel, not bad at all. Now back in a four on four. Probably feel good to Fnatic right now if they could, if they could pick up a, a rifle round here. That would sort of prove it to themselves as well that they could, they could do it. Here's the challenge. Two players coming out of the B-bomb site. That's a big win for Issa. I don't know how. The first shot went towards Crims. JW's going to respond with the AWP. And now look at the rotation. Bonda going to come out mid. He wants to pressure that B-bomb site. Flush has got to slow him down. And JW just has to trust that it's not going to happen. Completely blinded. This is a big hold for him. Inside the bomb site. They don't actually know that he's here yet. Dead Fox. Oh, he's going to be alive still. Now he's got the angle covered. 
and will take him down. If not that, then the window would have done it. And there was very little backup for JW there. He must have been feeling a little bit lonesome for a long time now. Two on three. Retaking the B bomb site is just so difficult. And there's no there's no good response for JW. I mean, it's it's such a difficult situation to be in because you know one's coming mid, and Flusha has told you there's a smoke that just got put up in CT spawn, but Flusha can't do anything. If he comes through the smoke, he's essentially a free kill, especially with the AWP. That poor soul B defender, the anchor of the B bomb site, is frequently left in those positions during mid V splits, and just be nice to your B defenders is what I'm trying to say. Yeah, it they, is. They've got a lot to deal with. They do have a lot to deal with. It's either that or sometimes you end up being the last person running into eight for some sort of <laughs> like mad retake. So what position did you play back in 1.6 Moses on this map? Do you remember? Uh, Yeah, I, I played pretty much every position at some point, but I actually played on a, I was a defender primarily. All right. Played A and B though, different times. Good. A is more fun. A is definitely more fun. Six to three now. Tenth round coming up. Double orb staying alive on Hellraisers. They are building an economy too. It's actually looking quite good for them right now. Getting some sweet revenge against Fnatic. I bet they're they're loving this right now. Dead Fox at the corner this time. Not sitting inside of the fire, which is a bit of a luxury for him at the moment. Gonna be flashed off instead. They still have three people here, which is you don't really need that, especially when you got the corner there. Orp, M4, and pistols on Fnatic. We'll see. Flusha is going to have to be aggressive with that. And in that situation, it's almost like you'd want either Draken or, or JW to have it with their kind of style of opping, but it's going to have to deliver at some point. Hellraisers. This is one of those maps that, as you mentioned earlier, the CT side can sometimes have a really tough time putting pressure on the T side in any position. But you need to find a way to do it in this round, because look at all the map control that Hellraisers have. They haven't gotten long yet. Actually, they've, they've been one of the few teams that's kind of gone away from long. Flusha almost with a chance there, but I think the shot rang right between the two players. They were ready for that for that spot as well. I think of how many maps on the CT side where you can take a forward fight, then fall back to a secondary angle, then fall back even again, and maybe even a fourth time. There's so many, there's so many corners usually. On this map, if you lose the long fight, the next fight is at the bomb side, more or less. I mean, it's yeah. just so quick. And that, and it, on B, it's even worse, so um, definitely not an easy time. 26 seconds as they push through the middle, exist. Oh, turning around, good timing, even with the flashbang. That's a good kill. Inside of the bomb site, JW hiding inside of the smoke, and they're jumping out right on top of him. He's by the box, and Crimson is behind him. Smoke, if it fades at the right time, this could really work out. JW getting a kill. Even turning around and picking up the AK-47 and mowing them down. Brondig and Voxy going to fall next. That is really well done. And Hellraiser is leaving it very late in the round. I was going to say, even if they actually attack that instead of kind of trying to slow peek it and get the get the AWP boosted up top, I don't think they even win this round. Ten seconds left coming through that smoke. That's pretty crazy for Hellraiser to give up a round like that. Probably the most passive and, and unwilling to take a fight we've seen them. And that is a huge turnaround for Fnatic. Look at the money. All five players surviving. They upgrade so many weapons, three AWPs for free. Not that that's necessarily a great thing, but you just have so much cash now for the Fnatic side. It is a great thing, Moses. Got triple orb out. <laughs> Keep it going. Get to five. As out. if retakes weren't hard enough on this map. Like, yeah. Yeah, we'll, we'll get three ops. Retaking B. <laughs> So do you remember that? Do you remember that round where Simple throws the orb over the wall on B? Yeah, you and I were casting that. That was a good time, wasn't it? I feel like that's almost like overblown though, because I don't think the op actually did anything except for like style points. I don't think it like fake nitro out anyway. I think it's the fear of it, isn't it? It's like <laughs> this guy is psychotic. What is he? <laughs> what is he doing? <laughs> you just—it's that's, that's when we had old Simple still. I do miss old simple. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> we all do. Oh, again, Woxic. Yeah, it's JW one more time. It's not as big of a deal this time because he has the AWP instead of the M4. So if he gets over to that headshot angle, oh, I like this. Back at it. This he, is great. He is just such an incredible player to watch. There's smokes though in that T side of mid, so they surely would have called this out that it's possible. Angel, he's gonna clear it. Oh, that is great. Crimson just barely missed the what? angle. It's, Angel builds upon it. That looked so strange. It looked like Angel, I would love to see that kill from his point of view. It looked like his crosshair was way in the wrong spot. It's obviously hard to tell from the model, but... Um Here's the tough part. Exist has to be patient, because Hellraiser has to be bombsite. They know that Fnatic has to make some kind of a play to get back into this, but they had two players watching it. Exist now can still push forward, but Bondic is still waiting. 
two ops in an AK-47 for the retake. Flush has got to get over and try and do something. Well, they've heard that smoke. Don't know if they heard the scope. Not going to be able to get the kill there. <laughs> A little oh bit God. scary. Trying for it again. <laughs> Now he's behind the box, so the grenade should do some damage. The follow-up models are going to be a bit annoying, but they will be just fine. And time to back on out for Fnatic. Here's the thing. It, it's unfortunate that for Fnatic that Angel just kind of beats them in that round. But I like the aggressive call because the turnaround that you have in the eco round of the pistols, you have so much money. You got free weapons. You essentially did not have to invest in getting rifles in that previous round. You're going to have a full buy no matter what happens in the next yeah. round. So go for something a little bit risky. See if you can do that. And, it, and in theory... That should have worked. Crims had the advantage, JW had an advantage, and Angel just happens to win both fights. Yeah, great job on Angel, by the way. I mean, that, that is pretty impressive. Again, I, I have a feeling if we see the replay from his point of view that he's going to be almost looking at the stairs and then just readjust for an instant headshot. They're playing with the ball as well, Moses, up there. The ball's playing with itself. How does that happen? A little football. Yeah, it's a bit weird. Well, here we go. We'll spot it out from his POV. Yeah, he is pre-aiming. He has yeah. to snap up. And He's then the follow-up, he knows what's coming next as well. That's just a great read on JW. Maybe JW didn't necessarily have the advantage. Obviously, the tag kind of helps out as well. Back into it. He's setting up for another tag. Eventually, JW is going to be super annoyed. But um, this time, he's going to make it past no problem. That will make it 4-7 to seven here in favor of Hellraiser's. Looking good early on here on Dust 2. But don't want to get Fnatic. You know, I think another... Oh my god, that's a good little spot there. Taking down Woxing. I think another round or two of Fnatic, and they're starting to feel pretty good about themselves. What happened to that Molotov in mid? Oh my god, they're going to try and get up that Molotov. It actually missed its mark, but that actually might be the benefit. It didn't go as deep. It fell back in front of it, so they couldn't actually be the aggressors. Flusher has to be careful, but Dead Fox has to play around a smoke. Still two players in this B bomb site. There's no access anywhere. It's a good pick to have, but you need more if you're Hellraisers, and you're going to be running into an op on Catwalk. You'll run into the other one at the B bomb site. And this is still going to be so tough. One minute and pretty much no utility on Fnatic as well. Everyone has got one nade. Yeah. A couple of flashbangs here could definitely put some pressure on Draken, but they don't have smokes to block him off. They have Molotovs. I mean, you can Molotov that ramp, and that could definitely force him out. Molotov being onto the bomb side, it's said, and 40 seconds here. Good kill for Draken. Now we can wait for time. Just get the backup in here. Actually, he's going to be jumping for it. Taking down Dead Fox. Not going to be able to get the flick, but JW will close it out. And a little, little notice, you see the bomb dropping down in the CT spawn? We love that. We do love that. That makes, that, some, that makes for some weird situations, doesn't it? Yeah, you can really lose around in a in an odd way on the T side if you get close. I mean, it didn't matter then, obviously, but um, just pointing out. Hellraiser's had no idea that shot was even possible by JW. This is a good round from Drake, and obviously this jump up is beautiful. He's got the lineup, and Dead Fox just happens to be walking right into it. Good shooting from Fnatic, 5-7. to seven. You can point to that round with the CZs that really gave Fnatic a phenomenal chance. Molotov, Angel's already passed it, though. We've seen how good he is on the entries. They're all swinging out, and they've got to give up this fight, Fnatic. They've done great damage. Angel down to 16, even Issa burning, but wow. holy hell. Immediately gone. It's a great recovery from JW. That's very important, but what a shot from Dead Fox. They make it back around the long corner as well. You never know when, you, when they're rushing out long. Sometimes you can't even get back to the bomb site. You get shot in the back. Yeah, you never know how aggressive they're going to be, do you? Thankfully, because they lost long, it's a great response from Fnatic. Take control of Catwalk. Exist is there, so Draken can kind of hang out and grab new angles. He knows they have an op on the board still, so can't go too deep. Flush is going to be able to respond quickly as well. It's going to be tough, though, with the smokes, with the flashes, the Molotovs. Draken's going to have a tough time really getting a clean shot at this. Smoke it off. Grenade. Oh, no. oh no. He jumps right into it, Angel. He caught that grenade, but not in a good way. Bondit gets a refrag. Eric Draken's still here, taking a kill, going for another one. Beautiful triple. Started with a grenade, ended with the AWP. And now, oh, Woxit coming right back. They jump into it with 30 seconds left. And oh, it's a headshot. Exist saving the round. They almost gave that one versus three right back. Yeah, calm it down, Fnatic. You had it won, and I don't know what the aggressive play was. Cool little trick from Hellraisers, though. They throw their smokes, and they just... Look, they don't they don't actually smoke the cross. They just peek it. They just go for that fight. That's how they kill Flutcher, which is frustrating, because you normally, as a CT defender, expect there to be a smoke there, but 
They just said it's going to be a battle either way. Let's take it on our terms, and they go right for it. And I don't know what JW and Draken were doing, but maybe maybe Fnatic take a timeout. Hellraiser is going to do it for you, but that's where I think Jumpy needs to come in and be like, guys, everyone, everyone take a step back. Can anyone remember, remember Mirage? What happened there? <laughs> what was that like? Can we do our best not to find a way to lose this game? Yeah. Six to seven. As much fun as the comebacks are. Let's, uh, <laughs> yeah. let's not go there. That was six in a row for Hellraisers early on to get a 6-3 lead. They've been put a little bit on the back foot. Three of the last four go to Fnatic, so they've really come alive. That was a big turning point. That save round that Fnatic was able to win. Round number 14, and JW taking a fight in middle, dropping Angel. Was he even fighting for that? Was he just shuffling around? He might have just been shuffling around. It looked like they were kind of still kind of confused about the buy coming out of that timeout, so they might have taken an extra second to get their purchase up. Either way, Fnatic was done, or I mean, JW was done getting tagged through that door. Yeah. So he's just like, my turn. Facing uh, facing the bullies on the other side. Oh, Wox, they could have got a bomb with them. Or oh, the, the ball, again, the little football Moses. Playing the wrong game. I don't know. What if you bring it into B and you and you kick it in there and it just distracts a guy, and then you plant the bomb inside of the ball and I then don't, I don't think it's worth it. It seems like a lot of work. Okay. Fine. Didn't mean to pee in your Cheerios, but. <laughs> yes, you did, Moses. <laughs> oh, 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 they're walking through the smoke. He's got the lineup. JW. They're going to be jumping out. Ooh. He instantly gets the kill on Dead Fox, and he's still back here. Trying to see if he can do the whole stand and shoot thing, and he does make it work for a nice triple. I'm really, I really feel like Angel was just not prepared for it. Maybe we'll get a chance to see, but that was a very, the first kill there. If that's how it works, if he's just, yeah, he's just jumping around trying to make the cross. That's that's very unfortunate. I mean, two shots from JW picking players right out of the air in their jumps. That is a beautiful round from him. The op coming alive, 7-7, seven to seven, all tied up. He's at 15 kills, by the way. He's having a great game right now. Him and Iza, neck and neck at the moment. 15th round here. Let's see. I mean, Hellraiser have got next to nothing. I almost wish it could have been a B-Rush. I said at the all time sake. I said at the start that Woxic was hands down the best opera in this matchup. Well, Draken is, is uh, really kind of challenging that sort of idea. He didn't have a great Mirage. Not a bad one either, but this, he's been the dominant, the dominant opera for sure between the two of them. Yeah, Crims M4 not going to be making it work. Draken will get one, and Flusher also got a kill in the middle, so they've sort of done the first part of it. Now they just have to worry about retaining the bomb site. They do have a fair few grenades. Let's see if it's going to be working out. Molotov, can he bank it into the corner? He sort of wants to try and do that. The grenade follow up, but Dead Fox has already made his way out. So three on four here. Hell raises one last ch chance to get an eighth round on the board, maybe. I actually think they need it desperately. I think these seven rounds for Fnatic is quite a lot, and that Mac 10, they want to go aggressive with it. They got one more flashbang in Iza. He's not going to set it up, just walking in and Draken taking him down immediately. Now it's a lot of trouble here. Woxic and Iza left alive, and Iza, two great kills for him, and they practically lined up for that one. He could have had it, but there is time. The defuse happening with the kit as well. Eight rounds on the board for Fnatic. I think that's a great job here for the first half. That is a phenomenal half, especially considering you, have, you had to come back from that 6-0 run from Hellraisers. You really did a great job of putting a stop to that, winning five of the last six. And JW at the end there, even dropping the off for the MAC-10 and making it work, getting these final two kills. Eight to seven going into the T side. We'll see what Hellraisers has, but they need to deliver. This is their pick. Struggling on it. Fnatic struggle on their pick. Hellraiser is struggling on their own pick as well. I don't think it's a bad half from either team, though. I think you're happy happy with both. Hellraiser's obviously would have liked a lot more because they're going to be looking at that that round of the B-bomb site with the CZs that yeah. just kind of giving, giving one away. I'm worried because I can see Fnatic being kind of a hard team to contain on on the T side here. Yeah. Someone like Crims, I mean, he, he really hasn't... This first half wasn't that great for him, but I think... Um, the first half wasn't great for him on Mirage, and he came alive. And I mean, no matter what, that's that's the great thing about the experience that these players have. And this is why we always mention experiences. No matter how bad of a half you may start out with in big situations. Ooh, that's a cool block. That is very cool, isn't it? That allows Warwick to maybe go and fight a little bit. Got to be careful. Oh, my God. He got jump goosh, didn't he? Down to one health. He still returns it. Oh, my oh God. it's beautiful, isn't it? He just wants more now. He's ready to take this fight. Finally goes down to exist, but... What a way to reply after getting bullied off the angle. 
just shot in the face down to one health and he got his revenge. Now, a very awkward fight happening here at the catwalk. Exist trying to see if he can just land one more headshot. They're all on top of each other and eventually they're going to get shut down. Exist picking up that lost P250, but Angel will end that fight. Oh God, man, that was, that was a great pistol round, wasn't it? What a beast. I cannot believe Woxic was able to handle that. He's, he's even shaking his head like, how the hell did that happen? Yeah, right at the start. One health, two one-taps coming in hot. Okay, well, use three bullets, excuse me. It's all right. Yeah. We'll give him that one anyway. That was really well done. Hellraisers now tied up, and I think they needed that pistol round, though. I really think they did. Yeah, that'll definitely give him some energy to at least start this one out. Pistols again, though, and Fnatic was able to do a lot of damage with this on Mirage in those third and fourth rounds. Angel going to toss a timing grenade right towards the entrance. Decent damage, nothing great. It's the dink that does it, and the crossfire with Issa in middle. Exist going to be forced forward, and Issa's ready for that one as well. And the Famas is just two tapping away. Crims is down. Yeah, easy peasy. Draken out at long. Hoping for a deagle battle. They're giving him a chance here. This is always fun, right? I'm not... My deagle doesn't work, so that this fight is never any fun for me. Draken's is probably much better than mine. And Flush are just waiting in mid. They're waiting for some kind of a mistake just to be able to do some economic damage. It's not, not looking like it's going to happen, although Dead Fox is pretty close. And Flush just spots him out. Oh, he just moved. As soon as the shoulder peak came in, and yeah, Dead Fox. I mean, that's smart. Just, you realize kind of the situation you're in. You don't need to die at any one point. You don't need to. You don't need to really aggressively hunt this down. But gotta do it anyways. A tougher angle for Flusher to deal with as you close the gap, and Dead Fox does find it. A couple yeah. tags on the players across the board, but no one able to complete any of those kills. So good job on Hellraisers. Nine to eight. Maybe most of you could do like some sort of deagle course, right? Maybe you could. Maybe you could practice and get better at it. I feel like... I don't really have the time for that, Anders. Sounds like an excuse to me. <laughs> yeah, not as dedicated to improving my, my gameplay, am I? Not as I used to be. Woxic peering up towards middle. And here we go towards long. Angel gonna, imagine, throw a grenade in. He sees the flashman come out, turns from it, and he's able to hold this. Another flash coming, he turns from that as well. That is great from Angel. A really cool sequence. He's going for the ace. He's going for all five, and oh, what a statement. Draken walks right into it. That is beautiful stuff from Angel, even on an eco round. He was just ducking and diving all of those punches, wasn't he? Yeah, it, you can see he's zoned in. It's, the, it's, it's, it's all the flashbangs, right, that he dodges that makes it really cool. Just knowing that something is coming and well played indeed. 10 to 8, and with that kind of a start to the second half, who knows, maybe Hellraisers can push us onto a third map here. Certainly yeah. looking good at the moment. We'll see, Draken with the AWP, waiting for someone. Are they going to do the boost right back at him? Because I don't think that would work. Oh, they're going to push in a bit lower B. JW is aware of the possibility. Draken's called out the smoke. He's communicated that appropriate. JW jumping up top, gets the first game transfer over, and there's the push from above. Well done from Hellraisers. Yeah, crunched from stairs and the B bomb site. Bondic taking down Flusher before he even made his way for the smoke. And then returning a grenade and Draken. He actually has no body armor, so I'm surprised that doesn't do a bit more damage. I guess it landed a little bit behind him. Now hunting down, but Woxic is going to be in there. <laughs> Seems like an unfair fight, doesn't it? Still, great job. 11 to 8. Hellraisers so close now once again. They can definitely feel that third map coming in. Listen, Anders, they got rich real quick. Yes. Like that round with the, with the SMGs pushing into the upper, the bonus money, the transfer over to the free AK-47s. They've got three free AKs and one free AWP because Woxic started that round with a scout. That is a lot of cash money. Buy almost whatever they want. Going to be thrilled about it. Gold chains, grills, all of it. Watches. I think that's 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 what you want most. Sneakers. It? Maybe some sneakers too. Get, yeah. get, Yeezys in there. get it all. I don't know if they would improve necessarily in a, in a war zone, but certainly stand out. Might make you uh, actually easier to see, wouldn't it? <laughs> Shoot at the guy with the Yeezys. <laughs> 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 I don't know. Uh, uh, Duncan somewhere is like, please no. 
20th round now. He's booking off one side. They are trying to see if they can crunch this, but two people are waiting inside. They're getting awfully close now, though. And Dead Fox is feeling uh, the pressure. So they'll... No, the bomb's on the other side. They would have got the bomb plant, Moses, but they forgot the, the one important thing. Yeah, got taken down. Ooh, Drake with the Deagles. Almost able to follow it up at a second. Good damage, though. Three players gone. Gonna take some of that money away. 12 to 8, and... Well, not ready to call it just yet, as we all know. No, I mean, in comparison, this seems like a much more uh, achievable task for a Fnatic. No, but the CC side is looking good for Hellraisers. We haven't really had, they haven't really been tested quite yet in any round. So I think that that's a good sign for Hellraisers, yeah. maybe giving an indication why they picked this map. Very confident in the defense. And for good reason, it appears. Krim's going to try and make that same jump out long. He's made it around the corner. A lot of grenades, and now they're really weirdly trapped. They're going to try and see if they can fight their way out. You don't want to be here for too long, and for this very reason, they can be boosted on over. Jumping and shooting never really works out. Another grenade lands on them, and they're in trouble. Immediately down, Angel and Bondic combining for those two kills. And they've retaken top dog as well. This is a great CT side right now for Hellraisers. You, you've got to admire it. Yeah, I love this. When the attention is elsewhere, take your advantages where you can and kind of clear positions. Cut the map in half, but even bigger, those two flashbangs that Crims and Flusher were throwing from behind that bin, there was a Molotov in their way, so actually it got neutralized. They couldn't actually progress forward to use those flashbangs. Hellraisers, all three players along, sticking together. That is a good win for JW. He takes a lot of damage. Still a tough situation to recover for Fnatic, but look at the defense. It's so split. One long, one at A ramp, and two in the B bomb site. And that's why you're seeing this utility used trying to buy themselves some time. Yeah, if they were going to come back in a in a 3v5, which is now a 3v4, then it would have to be something like this, where you sort of slowly edge in a couple of kills here and there, and suddenly it's a three on three, and then you, maybe you could do it. Oh, that models off though. JW's not going to be happy about one tick, and he'd almost be done. Now he trades out for the AWP, and you like this. Maybe go for a pick, and if not, you're able to kind of sit farther back. Yes. Avoid the danger. So close, Woksik missing the first shot, and now they're all coming for it as well. 14 seconds, so they know it's not going to be a fake. That's the bomb down. Woksik eventually falls. A good flank here, and the timing is just nothing really Fnatic could do about it. All on Draken. They do have another Molotov here, so he can't stay on the bomb site forever, and it's going to land right on top of him. He's not happy at all, and yeah, flashed, forced off with the Molotov. Just nothing he could do at that point. Still... Good attempt. I mean, Fnatic really keeping a bit of focus in some of these rounds, even if they had got that early loss over at long. So they, they managed that much. But that's still six rounds in a row for Hellraisers. They are marching forward really quickly right now. Yeah, this is a really solid second half from them, and Fnatic don't have an answer quite yet. Taking a timeout here. They want to talk things over. This feels a lot different than the comeback on Mirage, just because it feels like Hellraisers has just a much better grasp of, of their CT side here on Dust2. I don't know if Fnatic will be able to pull this one off. Double op for Dead Fox and Woxic. Yeah, they're looking solid at the moment. This is definitely... Not only like the early plays from Fnatic, like the teamwork of getting two players out long, seeing if they can do anything, but no one is really... No one on Fnatic is kind of making those plays like they were on, on Mirage. You know, like Krim sneaking up those B-holes and being able to find that pick in the B-bomb. So no one's doing things like that. No one's sneaking out middle and trying to get aggressive and apply pressure there and force some rotations. That's what I was expecting a little bit, you know? Yeah. Um... Something like that. Part of it is because Hellraisers on the CT side have been so aggressive. I mean, you you kind of do psych your opponent out a little bit when you've when you've pinched upper B, when you take control and find the information. Good leg shot onto Woxic. But Hellraisers hasn't been shy on the CT side whatsoever. Point of point of contact has been dominated by the defense. Yeah, it really has. Angel ready to stand up and take a look into lower dark, and. Draken is going to find the kill on Woxic. He started it off without even being able to see him. And he's really hoping, Angel, I think, that someone's going to jump up on the box in the corner. It's not really happening right now. So, an early advantage for Fnatic. It's been a while since they've been enjoying one of those. Spray not doing much of anything. Angel going to be falling all the way back on Catwalk, and they're just going to give up this mid-pressure a little bit. Let's see if they can find a way. Almost feels like this is going to fall into mid to be. Three smokes still on the Fnatic side. And 
Actually, now they readjust. Draken coming out towards long with that bomb, and great job from Dead Fox. Exists caught out in the open. Nice delayed peek. There's Flusher with a trade as well. So any idea that Fnatic had, whether it was mid to B, whether it was a split towards A, it's all gone to hell. And unfortunately, Draken has the bomb with the AWP. He could stop the rotations in this position, and a completely blind JW is brought down low. So all of a sudden, advantage, and that nade, JW's got to get out, and he just barely does. Yeah, he's lucky to live. Alone on the B-bomb side, there was Dead Fox, and they're all coming through him through the middle. Going to be smoking off in front, Isa. Can he get into position in time? Flash to follow up as well, making it a bit harder for him to actually do anything. He's just edging his way through. Is anybody covering it on the other side? He knows that if he gets the timing down wrong, he's immediately going to be gone. And that will leave Dead Fox. He's out of the B-bomb side, which is actually smart from him. There's a bit of a fight, and JW was low already, so he's going to be down. This is very smart from Dead Fox. Just otherwise, it could have easily been a 2 on 2, and that would favor Fnatic heavily. Now they're inside the bomb site with no more grenades. Crim's ducking to stay alive, but they're both going to be dropped by Isa. A triple kill here, 26 kills overall on him, and a 14th round for Hellraisers. Very, very intelligent round for Hellraisers. Well, yeah, Dead Fox pushing in that into B was great. It obviously kind of cordons Fnatic to stay into the bomb site. It kind of corrals them where they have nowhere to go in that post plan. And, and when you have all the knowledge of where they are, that can be a much more aggressive, much quicker paced retake. Draken takes that shot with the AWP, and you kind of know he's still on the bomb site. Just one flashbang. Obviously, catch Crims full in the face, and Draken has no idea what's coming. So, nice job by Hellraisers. This is looking much more convincing. The desk questioned and said you can't be a star player if you don't show up when they need you most. Issa's got 26 kills, 12 deaths. What a performance from him in this second map to keep Hellraisers alive. Oh no. Flusher. Just the Molotov and a, I guess a tag from Woxic. Oh, Dead Fox is a free kill. Yeah. That free no! Issa saving it! What a hero! And picking up the kill as well on Draken. This is just beyond belief, isn't it? Picking up the bomb now, but that should have been it. This is the kind of friend you want, isn't it? Two on three. They thought they had that. They had it. A millisecond made the difference. Angel going to be taking down Exist and JW. Fnatic are going to be furious about this. He's alone in a one versus three. He knows he has to do something. He can't just wait on the bomb site. He's going to take down Angel. But the turnaround, they're already there. I... Don't even know what we just saw. What a monster. For, that is a huge performance. And it was actually almost like you couldn't believe how free the kill was. And then Issa just kind of shuts you down before you can even pull the trigger. He's been great in this B-bomb site on Dust2. What was that against G2 earlier in the, in the event where they had that phenomenal game where Issa was just a beast? I mean, he's just able to do so much there. His first bolt accuracy is insane. That is so well done. Especially, I mean, the, it's the, the one, but then the immediate follow-up as well. 15 to 8, map point right now for Hellraisers. We might well be going to third map here. If we're talking about the comeback on Dust2, or sorry, on, the, on Mirage, and it was incredible, but this one, they need seven rounds in a row, and they've won zero on the second half so far. No T rounds yet for Fnatic. Hellraisers looking solid indeed. In fact, just missed that smoke. Yeah. We saw, what was it, Bondic kind of block it earlier? Maybe he didn't block it, maybe they just missed it. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? Either way, pop flash in. Oh, that's beautiful. The smoke just gets in his face, which delays that attack just a little bit longer. Isa, again, going to be called upon. He's delivered. So much damage done. He can't find the kill. Tags from the AWP. Now getting pressured. He spins. How is he managing all this attention? Almost was able to get it done. But Fnatic do eventually overwhelm him. But what a dangerous player. Yeah, you could really see the focus in almost every move. He's eventually going to go down. And now Bondic. I don't know. They have quite a lot of money. They are, in fact, rich. <laughs> <laughs> Officially, Moses, we yeah. made a rule. Yeah, we made a rule. Was it two over 10K? Two over 10K. I guess Angel is, is in a slightly different position, but we'll leave it alone for now. It's fine. Yeah. They'll, you know, take out a loan. Spread the wealth, Moses. <laughs> it's a trickle-down theory of economics that we all love. Reaganomics. Exactly. Yeah. Didn't really work out, but fine. <laughs> Flusher uh, is going to be taking down Bondic at the end. So uh, they, they get to, to steal a bit of cash there. Still almost 15,000 at the beginning of the round here for Iza. And the 25th round is now going to be coming up. Fnatic finally winning a round on T side, though, which is, I think we should celebrate that. Yeah. About time. 
The first one, a huge run from Hellraisers. That was eight in a row. Yeah. I don't think we're going to see Cena come back. Well, I mean, obviously we can't, we can't write it out. We d the black magic is a powerful thing. Yes, as we've seen already. But yes, I mean, it does feel very unlikely. There's, there's a different kind of focus and a different kind of confidence here. For Hellraisers playing their own map on the CT side, it's just looking great. Yeah. I was really worried for that first half, though. I, I really think Fnatic did a, a better job than I was expecting, I would say. Yeah, I think a lot of that comes out of the recovery they had, of being able to stop that six-round streak and then being able to build upon that. I think that, that makes you always feel so much better about that half. But obviously, we see a lot of teams kind of struggle on the CT side of this map, and, and just you, you know it's kind of difficult. To have seen Fnatic to take a lead into the second half is a great thing, but it seems to have stalled out. This does have a different vibe to it, rather than Mirage. Mirage is obviously well-versed. Mid-control for Fnatic, but the question is, what do you do with it? And they haven't really frequently been able to make a whole lot of progress elsewhere. Long has been shut down for them. They haven't even really gone back to it, except for once or twice when they've been obliterated. Loxic with the op, Flushes in some trouble. Ooh, a missed shot. That's an interesting wide peek, but Bondic's still hidden behind the door, and Flush is going to run away. So Bondic has all the, the information. That position, even if it doesn't get a kill, even if it doesn't encounter anyone, he knows that Flusha has ran, and now he's going to take the, the opportunity to just push forward. Yeah, smart play. He knows absolutely everything. This is so much free map control, and this is probably going to break Fnatic. The problem is Exist is holding Issa on the rotation. Yeah, there's also only one person inside of B, which is definitely trouble for Dead Fox. If he can get one kill here, that would certainly help out quite a bit. Going to take down Flusher. Still alive on the bomb site, but Crims will drop him eventually. Angel dropping Exist, and oh, they don't even make the cross. That was Woxic taking down Crims. And with JW alone in a one versus four, it is looking great for Hellraisers. Imagine the mental recovery of losing that incredible lead on Mirage and then coming back into this game and maybe not having the perfect first half, but they make it work in the second one. 16 to nine, taking down Fnatic and moving us on to map number three. That's, that's the kind of Hellraisers you want to see. Yeah, and holy hell, they just won nine of ten rounds in that second half. That was yeah. just so dominant. Once they switched side, there was just no contest. No chance for Fnatic to even into it. Issa, 28 kills. What a response from him. Kind of went quiet in that comeback on Mirage. Went quiet in the second half in overtime. Didn't really have the impact that he was able to in the first half. But, I mean, here he just comes back into things. Comes back swinging. And he's got Hellraisers into a third map. So they're not done yet in this major, which is always good to see. They're going to continue to fight. Obviously, looked a lot better here on this one, not allowing to uh, get Fnatic back in the game. We do have the boys on the desk with us, yeah. so please, Alex, take it away. It'll be my pleasure. Thank you so much, Moses and Anders and Hellraisers. They show exactly what they're capable of on that T side of Dust2. Notoriously tough side, and Fnatic didn't quite manage to keep them locked out. Unable to do the same on their T side. I'm joined by Sean Gares and Sponge to talk about it. It had its fair share of moments, Judd, but Hellraisers looked to reset quite comfortably. Yeah, we, we questioned whether they could bounce back after such a devastating loss, and they did. Issa looked like he hadn't even played that first yeah, map. He was that? still just hitting shots left, right, and center, so that's a positive sign. We did, you know, say that they dropped off Woxic and Issa. They stepped up here, and we also painted Crims on the Mirage game as the hero. In this one, he went absolutely quiet. It's a bit more difficult to make plays on a map like Dust 2. It's harder to, to thread the needle, so to speak, on that T side, and... You can see right here, only eight frags up to, I think it was 30 plus in the first map. Yeah, check out Yissa as well. 28 frags and 10 of those involve multi-kill rounds. He managed to get 10 multi-kill rounds. That is just spectacular. Yeah, Yissa had an incredible game as well as, I think Woxic actually came up big in a lot of key moments. That one versus one he had against Exist where he flanked tunnels. That was a pivotal swing round in my opinion of the entire game. As well as, I mean, Issa, Issa won that one-on-one -on -one against Crims coming up from CT Ramp. I think it was the first gun round of the entire match. So, honestly, Fnatic had a pretty good start to every round. It was 12 yeah. entry frags to 13. So, I mean, the, the disparity in rounds is quite shocking. Yeah, and I mean, we saw a spectacular CT side on Dust2 uh, yesterday from Astralis. And you often say that Astralis play the percentages. Now, this is the, the same tag you've affixed to this demo. I'm intrigued. Yeah, this is like little micro decisions that have been made in this round. So basically, the opening kill will go in favor of Hellraisers, which okay. Dead Fox is going to pick off. I believe it's Draken with the AWP. And then we're going to find ourselves in a four-on-four -four situation oh, after Flusher gets a kill on Cat as well. Now, this is where the decision-making comes in. The two B players know that they don't have any information. They're going to smoke off tunnels, and they're both going to leave the bomb site, knowing it's unlikely anyone's going to push through, move down towards middle to trade off each other. So they're playing the playing the percentage here that hey, no one's going to push that, and we need to trade off each other. They will do that correctly, but as soon as that frag goes in the favor 
of the Hellraiser side. They know JW is isolated on the B bomb site. They're going to swarm and put pressure on this orb who can only watch one position at a time. And if he misses a shot, he gets run down on. You're going to see that here. He can't peek. Those flashes are fantastic. He's going to miss a shot here. And now, as soon as he steps, his players on all sides of him. He gets closed on out. And that's the round right there. That's Hellraisers. Once they know there's only one player on B, collapsing very quickly and not hesitating. Also, good decision making from Fnatic in the mid round to play together and go for extra kills. It's nice to see the team player come in and it wasn't completely shaken by what seemed like a rather chaotic first round. Yeah, what's even what's even more like I guess nice is that when they enter the B bomb site right there, everyone's jumping around. Yeah. The reason why they're jumping around is because they know they have a one on three against an off. And once they figure out where he is, you can trade a lot easier, obviously, if he misses sure. you or you make things difficult for him, basically. Yeah, and that's, of course, what we saw now. Next map, guys, is going to be uh, Cash. Cash is a decided map we haven't seen too much of here in London. I think we've only seen it once. I think, uh, the only I, think so, I can yeah. only think of one instance. Vega versus Liquid Vega. and no, G2. G2. No, G2, G2 played it as well. So we've seen it twice over two weeks. Yes. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, we're getting to the best of threes. It's okay yeah. to the best of threes to see more from Cash. But uh, let's let's talk about our expectations. You you predicted that Fnatic would take this one, Chad. You still feeling comfortable with I, that? I went with Hellraisers. Oh, excuse me. But uh, I, now we get to the third. I think it's still anyone's game in that regard. The Fnatic showed their brilliance around smokes. And that sounds weird, but you can see the rounds when the smokes come up and Hellraisers actually want to exit through it, which is almost a Hail Mary attempt in a lot of regards. Yeah. Fnatic always are able to knock them down a peg when that comes out. This is one... I, Draken was looking good with the AWP in that game. You know, there's a lot of factors that are playing in for both of these teams right now. I, it's too hard to call. Yeah, too hard to call, Sean? Yeah, I, I think it's too hard to call. I know Hellraiser's in the past has had a really strong cache, great mid control, good A, a execute. So I would give a slight edge to them, but the veteran experience on Fnatic could easily take this. Yeah, I think Hellraiser's answered a lot of questions by the fact that they can't, could reset into Dust 2 and had that convincing first half to close it out in the second, and that means we're going to a third. Don't you move a muscle. We'll be finding out who survives and who goes home empty-handed. Will records not be broken, or will Crims fall, as will Fnatic? We'll find out after our break.